human resources sides of things, such as reporting the year-to-date information and the paycheck information on a period-by-period basis to the employee on the pay stub, growth pay, and the withholdings, that starts to get quite complex. So in other words, payroll in and of itself, uh, any one component is not that difficult to think about and think through. But when you put a lot of simple things together, at some point you end up with complexity, right? And that's kind of what happens with payroll because even if you only have a few employees, you still have to think about the payroll on an employee-by-employee basis as well as on a complete or total basis for all of the payroll and think about it in terms of a paycheck-by-paycheck basis as well as a year-to-date basis for both the employee and by employee and the total. And then you've got the federal income taxes, which includes FIT, Social Security, Medicare, federal unemployment tax. You've got the state taxes, which will differ from state to state. So that means more complexity oftentimes because now you don't have the uniformity across the full United States. And then you could have other benefits like a 401k plans and the health insurance and so forth, adding more complexity uh, to the tax return as well. So if you were to calculate it within the QuickBooks system or like an accounting system like QuickBooks, you would have all that complexity that you would need to be generating within the system so that you can provide that detailed information to the employees by the paycheck stubs and be able to populate your 941s and your, which are your quarterly forms and your 940, the year end form for the federal unemployment tax and the W2s to be generated from the system and the W3 and so on at the end of the year. If you were to have someone else do it, like a paychecks or uh, a, a paychecks or an ADP, then you can have them possibly do some of that more complex type of reporting uh, 